Well, I say I'm glad you got here, old man. I just for you. So yeah. happy to be here. This okay. is a gathering of survivors. I'm so glad to see you. Old foot soldiers in the Southern Civil Rights Movement. Remembering moments. We're not gonna let these Ku Klux kill us and beat us to death. The same stories echo constantly. I have a dream today. Familiar images, except this one. I grew up a perfectly respectable member of society on the south side of Birmingham and belonged to the country club and was vice president of the Junior League. And Virginia Durr, born to privilege and high place, battled intolerance whatever its form. Have to keep trying. She took a Japanese family into her home during World War II because they had nowhere to live. I stand mute. Was branded a communist for her compassion and hauled before a Senate subcommittee in the 1950s. Successfully fought the poll tax to free the vote for women and was one of the few, the very few white Southerners who openly resisted the violent currents of her time. Virginia Durr was one of the first to befriend an unknown preacher named Martin Luther King, Jr. He said, I have to get the fear out of them. I can't send one out against Bull Connor and the dogs and the hoses and everything. He said, the only way they can get over being terrified is to send them out by the hundreds or the thousands. When neighbors you know, normal neighbors do frightening things. It scared the hell out of me. And that was one of the things that made it so particularly tough was that the people you were rebelling against were your neighbors and friends and family. Why weren't you firebombed? The fact that we had old established family saved us safely from any physical harm. But I never have thought that the white Southerners were afraid of the blacks as they were afraid of each other. I mean, they were afraid of, you know, not being taken in the junior league and not getting in the country club and not making it to the Rotary Club. Or the... People are just fearful. I think it's the fear that's holding people down in the United States. The black children were on the front line. That's right. And they were heroes to their community. Oh, complete heroes. But what of the fight that your children had to face? I used to say to myself, uh, you know, look at the German women, the, 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 the Jewish women. They stayed home and made cookies and strudel, and uh, then the children ended up in the concentration camp. Mrs. Durr had four daughters. She had to send two of them north to finish high school. My husband, you see, wanted to live here. Down here, he knew who the sons of bitches were. There is a whiff of bittersweet about this gathering. The civil rights battle has moved on. And it's all gotten down now to money, whether you can get a job or whether you can get a, have any income. The other day, Virginia Durr asked a young black man what he thought of his hard-fought freedom to sit where he pleased on a Montgomery, Alabama bus. He said, oh, my goodness, Ms. Durr, I don't want to ride any old bus. I want to call my own. Virginia Durr understands. I have hope. Deep within herself, she found the woman she wanted to be. Bob Dotson, NBC News, Montgomery, Alabama.